I'll say, okay, I'll bring that up to the to the ER. What do you think I should do? Take a bus there? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, great, man. <laughs> I'll try to go tomorrow. <laughs> but I'll probably try to go tomorrow. How? I had my dad drop me off there in the morning. After a pinnacle. But I don't want to spend the night in the hospital. Well, if they keep me overnight in the hospital and they give me that room, you know what I'm going to do in the middle of the night is get up and leave. You won't be able to Oh, yeah, I could. Uh, just tell the nurse, hey, I'm just taking a little walk. You know, get out of your bed. I'm like, oh, bye bye. <laughs> nah. Can they force me? Oh, what they grab? Uh, oh. They, they'll call the police one day. Yikes. That's how I do it. I was just lay there. It was okay. Everything's quiet down. Not in the middle of the night. I said, I'm out of here. Well, uh, I'll find a way uh, to avoid the nurse. The nurse will be sitting here. What are you doing? Uh, uh, I'm going to the bathroom. Uh, you have a bathroom in the room? Uh, yeah, bye. And I hit the elevator. So I, uh, <laughs> get back here. I can't grab security for that. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not uh, I'm a old too, right? Yeah, right. He's unbalanced. He's, he's leaving. Right. No, uh, I don't know if that could be a crime leaving in the middle of the night of the hospital. I'm not going to fight West, so. No, but still, they don't want you to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, is, is there or something? And then they get in trouble, right? Well, I'm in air care. So. Why'd you let the patient leave? I was like, oh, he wanted to. Oh, you're fired. Uh, uh, you're in trouble, bro. You should not be having this. That's what I was saying all the time. You should not be having those. Mm -hmm. Is that the medicine that's doing it? No, I don't know what it is. And then it's, in it's the, quite a tumor. It is, but I think I think it's probably probably what's doing that is it's too much of a dose. That's what I'm thinking. That's why. That's why. That's why one of the uh, uh, Chris uh, said to have those adjusted, maybe lower them or something, yeah. maybe. That's why, get... that's why I told you that one time. Why they went five hundred? Well, answer this question: Deirdre was on seizure meds. She was having seizures. She wasn't supposed to be having them. She wasn't either. No. And she had a thing to stop the try to stop the thing. And she still had them. Yeah, and they they went through the brain, you know, the the the, the chest thing. And she was on medicine. Yeah. Okay, this so this so this problem isn't new. People are having seizures on seizure medicines. Right. They have seizure disorders, right? Okay, then it's probably something to do with the medicine. It needs to be lowered or put on a different med. Then, then the know. seizures, but, but she's put on dozens of them. And she still had them. So yeah, what I is? So you don't know if one of them will will not work, and the other one won't work either. No, so it makes it even worse. Then what did he do for her? And she shows us that seizures having that mad in their brain. Well, well, what's wrong here? No, man. She has a lot of epilepsy. Yeah, it's not, can't be treated. No. She said, she actually said some epilepsy. She's like, uh, you have the one, like mine probably, I sense in you already, that will, can't be treated at all. It's just gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you're on meds, it doesn't matter if you're on it at all. No, if, if you, if you, if she said, I don't want those magnets in your brain. Don't do what I did, because they won't stop anything. Just let you have them. You, it is what it is. You have it. You have it. She says, "Right, nothing you can do." It is sometimes medicines can't solve problems. Maybe sometimes medicines isn't what you, what you need. Is just live with it and and be careful. Yep. And just go on every day. Just you know, because yeah, right uh, she says, "I think you have the same condition. I sense your medicines won't help." Yeah, but I'm not having them now. No, you have them later in life. You're having, and she said, that's bullshit. You're having them now. You're having conscious ones. I see you all the time. You're having them without anyone knowing no symptom. I see it in your eyes. That's how my eyes get when I have those. You're the same eye look like I look. I looked at myself in the mirror having it. And I knew I was having it, but it's, it's silent and it goes away. Right. You just feel the little pain after, don't you? You feel a little sore? I was like, yeah, then you got it. But yours won't be like mine. Won't be treated with medicines. 
medicines aren't for everybody and they're not for all conditions. What you have is what I have is you can't be treated with medicines or surgeries. Right, there is one. But she says medicine. some people, like Kelly, she said what Kelly had, medicines is treated. Mm -hmm. It's fine. But what we have, no. Because it's a smaller dose of, of uh, yep. procedures. Yeah, she has a smaller case. Yeah. Hers can be treated with medicines. Ours can't. Okay, Ours can't be treated with with uh, yeah. with surgeries. And I said, D, you may have a tumor. Maybe. I, I do have a tumor. Oh, okay. Did you have it before you... They found it after. Oh, okay. How long? A year or two after she started having those violence. Jesus. A little late. Oh, because it grew fast. Yeah. More. But she said hers wasn't cancerous, but, 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 but it can be. Yours can yours is probably not cancerous, but it, one day it can it be. Could be. It could be. It could be. It can spread. She said, like, uh, like you have this wart you have on your, like Mrs. Nato has, right? It's not cancer right now, but it, but if she doesn't remove it in time, it can be. It's best to remove it because it all all growth turn cancerous. You probably do that, Mrs. Nato, probably have cancer. 